and welcome to the warm-up presented by Scott Wagner Plumbing and Heating. We are at Macomb to chat with Chris Algie, 18th season with the Panthers. And I just told you, I don't think you can look like you've been coaching for 18 years, but you've actually been coaching almost 30 years in all. Must be nice to start another season on the gridiron. Yeah, I'm very excited this year. I said I may not look it, but I sure feel it out here, drilling my back and my legs and stuff. But uh, I'm very excited this year with the group of young men we have to you know, working hard in the off season and it's been a pretty good camp so far. Let's reflect back on 2014 for a minute. Another great season, made it to the playoffs, picked up a playoff victory. Injuries, I think, hampered your ability to advance on and you ended up losing to Arlington for the second time. What are the takeaways from 2014? Well, I think, uh, you know, there towards the end, we got a lot of younger kids with experience. We had some injuries at the end of the year uh, by about three seniors, but uh, we were able to get some young kids in and get you know, real good experience against three quality opponents. So, you know, that that's good coming into this year with the number of kids that we have back. We have a pretty big senior class and then also a big junior class. So have you seen those seniors come together and, and start leading this group early on in camp here day four? Yeah, actually uh, started more, you know, in the winter time uh, and then the spring time with our weight room and, and uh, just a lot of them did performance zone with with speed and trying to prove in their quickness and stuff but we had real good numbers at uh, weightlifting sessions and then throughout the summer but the seniors did an excellent job leading that and for you your coaching staff is like stuff of legend at this point they all be go on to different head coaching jobs what are we looking at this year what's the coach yeah staff i mean like? this year we have pretty much everyone back that was last year we we added uh, a couple coaches with uh, coach brickman came back to be my defensive coordinator again so he did come back to me and then also we uh, inherited uh, longtime don masters coach at van buren um, i actually started my student teaching with don uh, back in the uh, you know late 80s mm -hmm. and so he was retired and and he's an excellent addition to our staff. At camp so far what has impressed you and uh, any surprises? I, th I think just our energy level you know and, and uh, you know number one our size we're pretty pretty big up front and then we've been pretty happy with our DB play um, we got a couple kids that had played basketball that hadn't played since seventh grade and, and they came out and that's just helped our depth because we were real thin at uh, you know, DB at the beginning of, of the year, but now we've got some depth at, at that and receivers. Offensively, what can we expect? I know you're graduating uh, a quarterback, but like you said, some guys got, got some experience last year. Yeah, we, uh, we graduated about four on offense, so we, we have a lot returning. And uh, you know, I think we're gonna do what we've always done here at Macomb, we'll, we'll run the spread and uh, throw the ball, but we're, we also feel that we can run the ball too and, and try to stay about 50-50 this year. And what about on the defensive side of the ball? Any major changes? Not really. I mean, uh, you know, we'll probably stick to our 40 defense. The biggest thing is just, uh, you know, the kids know we got to get faster. we got to get quicker on the defensive end and, and uh, just do our assignments and, and keep grinding and keep grinding and repetition, repetition, and, and, and do it well. Speaking of repetition, there's some new rules this year in terms of hitting and c contact in practices. And I know for coaches, that's a big part of the drills and stuff is repeating those drills. But when you can't make contact because of the new rules by the OHSA, how do you go about getting that repetition that you seek? Well, the biggest thing is just using, you know, we use a lot of pads with our kids mm -hmm. so we can use pads. And, and I think it's more not so much the hitting, but your, you know, your footwork, your hands. And, uh, you know, if you have good feet and good hands on defense, I think in a, in a good core, you're going to be fine where you don't have to pound all the time and hit every day. Uh, but just repetition, those mental reps and, uh, you know, using a pad. Coming up, a couple scrimmages on the schedule. Patrick Henry on the 15th and then a scrimmage with Defiance before the opener. And what do you look to get out of those scrimmages see your guys against some other competition is there something specific you're looking for well just you know we got some question marks at our d ends i mean we want to see who can play defensive end for us and uh you know everybody might look good in shorts and in a helmet and shoulder pads but right. uh, we need to see them live in action to see who can really play when when the lights are on and uh, also just create some depth for our team and then coming out of those scrimmages, the next time you take the field against another opponent, it'll be against the four-time defending state champs, Marion Local. A new opener for you against last year was against Fisher Catholic, a, a big win. This game, what are you hoping to get out of this opener? And this is this is a this should be yeah, a challenge. Yeah, this is a big challenge. I mean, uh, they have a great program. I think since I started coaching back in, uh, I think we played them in '99 in the playoffs. 
uh, my second year, and, and we used to scrimmage Mary Local, and then uh, three years ago had, had a triple overtime game. But, you know, Tim does a great job with his kids, and, and they're going to be ready. There's, you don't have to say, you know, about Mary and Local. The biggest thing for us is, is we're trying to prepare to play at that level. Um, it's going to be a great test for our kids week one and a, and a good opener here at Macomb. And next year we go back down there. Yeah, it should be a, a big crowd over here, and you can see that game on WOSN week one. Then into the BVC schedule later on in the season, and again, the BVC very competitive and, and very successful last year in, in the postseason as well. So where do you see yourself fitting into the conference? You know, our goal is always to, to win our conference. You know, we want to win the league. We know if we win the league, we'll make the playoffs. Um, you know, we feel we're going to be up there. We, we think, uh, you know, lipsick has got a nice squad returning. Um, you know, Van Buren has some kids returning too. Uh, Arlington graduated a lot, but they'll be, they're always good. And uh, then you always have Liberty Benton who, you know, Liberty Benton just seems to find kids over there and play. So I think, you know, all around it's going to be a good good conference again. Absolutely. You touched on it a little bit before about the senior class. And do you, would you say that's the biggest strength of, of this year's team going into the season? I think so. Just their leadership and their work ethic. And they've been around and they know this is their last time. And, and uh, they, they've, they've taken pride in this year and they have some hefty goals. And, and I think they're excited to start the season. What's an area you'd like to see improved before week one? I would say probably, um, you know, just, just, just mental aspects. And I think we've gotten better at uh, when kids make a mistake, we're getting better at not putting our heads down and, you know, next play, you know, worry about the next play. Don't forget about the other one where confidence, and our confidence is growing, and that's the biggest thing with high school football is just having confidence, not being cocky, but just being confident in what you do. And I'm sure that comes with lots of practices yep. and being together out there as a team. So what do you expect every time your guys take the practice field? Hey, we want a uh, good attitude, you know, good work ethic, you know, working hard, um, you know, and play fast. That's what we want. We want to play fast and, and uh, you know, just get at it. Have fun. Yep, that's, uh, that's what it's all about. Well, thanks so much for letting us come hey, out, thank Coach you Aldi. very much. Best of luck this season. We need to take a break here on the warm-up presented by Scott Wagner Plumbing and Heating. But when we return, more from Macomb. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Scott Wagner Plumbing and Heating. I'm Mark Hintz as we continue with the Macomb Panthers, joined now by three of the seniors on this year's team, Tyler Parker, Austin Davis, and Dakota LaRue down at the end. And Dakota, let's start with you. Let's talk about this shirt. Some of you guys wearing these shirts. No what ifs, JBJ number 64. What's that all about? Or JBB number 64. What's that all about? Well, no what ifs is like there's no more excuses. This year's our year. No more excuses. JBB, that's about... Uh, Jimmy Brown who passed away this year and he's just been our motivation in the past few weeks just getting better working for him I mean this year's for us and him yeah, Jerry former Macomb player died tragically a few weeks ago in a work-related accident and and Austin you look at this year's team uh, replacing quite a few talent from last year but at the same time looks like you guys are, are ready to, to kind of step up and and make your mark on this program this year yeah I think the guys coming in really did are doing a good job with filling in and uh, doing their jobs well and replacing the talent. We have a lot of depth this year, so I think we can go pretty far. Tyler, how did the summer go for this program? Uh, summer went great. Everyone's out here putting their best in, doing what they do, and we've all been playing since we were young, so we're formally around each other all the time, doing our best. Now, you guys have got quite a quite of an opponent week one, taking on Marin Local. We know how good the Flyers are. Is that a good target for you guys? Is that something that, that's really keeping you guys focused in the summer and, and through the, the August to, to know you've got – you're taking on the four-time defending state champs. Is that really getting you guys focused in on that? Yeah, it is. Everyone's out here really focused, doing their best, knowing what the competition they're going to bring and what we got to bring to the table that game. Austin, what, uh, what, what do you think the strength of this year's team is going to be? Uh, Honestly, I think it's going to be with our line. We're pretty big up front, so I think we can really run the ball. Dakota, so many good lines in the Blanchard Valley Conference the last couple of years. Certainly some good size here at Macomb as well. You look at what the BVC's accomplished the last few seasons. Is 
do, do, is there starting to be a sense that the BBC isn't perhaps what it used to be, that it is a, a much better football conference top to bottom? Yeah, I'm thinking all around the conference is giving us more competition. It's just not the same anymore. Everyone's getting better, and that's good for us because that's better competition every week. Okay, we're going to take a break here on the warm-up presented by Scott Wagner, Plumbing and Heating. When we return, more from Macomb here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Scott Wagner, Plumbing and Heating, as we continue our discussion with the Macomb Panthers, joined now by Chaz Shoup and Noah De La Serta. Guys, how did the uh, off-season go for Macomb? Uh, the off-season off went great. We had a lot of kids in the weight room lifting in the spring and in the winter all the all time. And then coming into uh, the summer, we since we all lifting and everything, we cut back on lifting and we just got straight to running the plays, making sure we know what we're doing, and we just got right to playing football. Chaz, it seems as if there's certainly some some good chemistry on this team. There's a strong group of seniors that have played together a long time. and it, You can tell you guys are, you know, are really picking each other up out there. Yeah, our whole team, especially the junior and senior class together, we're, re we're very close-knit. We've been playing together since third and fourth grade, starting out in midgets. And I mean, we hang out a lot outside of football, so we're really close friends, which really helps on the field. Eight and four last season. All the losses went to teams that made the postseason. You guys, of course, wait, went into the postseason as well. Two losses to Arlington, though. Does it, did that leave a bitter taste in the mouth? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you never like to lose, especially to a rival like Arlington. Well, the first one, we kind of got over it because we still had a shot at the conference with LB here, and we knew that if, every, if we played our cards right, we'd have another shot at Arlington, and we got that chance, but didn't take advantage of it. You get Arlington again this year in Week 9, Noah. That will be the final home game. What, what does it mean to, to play at Doc Miller Field? Um, it means, like, it's just it's our home. We know we have to defend our home territory, our ground, our field, and we never want to lose at home because then it's a bitter taste, and then the fans go home unhappy, and we go home unhappy. So to play the last game, week nine against Arlington, we lost two times too. It's just a big game that we want to take home the victory. Before you get into the BVC non-conference schedule, Marion Local, as well as Pandora, Gilboa. And as you know, I guess one of the big questions about this team from Macomb this year, you have to replace Clay Grubb, quarterback last year. How's that process coming along? Um, well, we did have to replace him week 10 when he injuries. did go to, when yeah. he did go down against LB and Malachi was just thrown in there. He was, he had to get all the nerves out real fast. And then he did pick it up a bit in the, uh, Toledo Christian, our first playoff game. And then he did pick it up a second game too against Arlington it ended bad for us, but he still played a good game. And so here he has some experience underneath them. So he knows what it's like to play varsity football and just replacing him. I think he can do a good job this year. Finally, Chaz, what are some of the goals for this year's team? I mean, goals always start out in the conference. Your goal is always to win the conference. And then we have the saying 720, which means if you play 15 games, you'll play 720 minutes of football. So obviously our goal, main goal, is to get to week 15 and win a state championship. All right, thank you very much, Macomb Panthers, as the countdown is going to that 720 minutes of football. That's going to do it for us tonight on the warm-up presented by Scott Wagner Plumbing and Heating. I want to thank all of our guests, Matt Finkel and Amber Chambers. I'm Mark Koontz. We'll see you next time on WSN.